My name is John Martin and I'm the Director of Music here at Weatherby Senior School and I'm here today to talk to you about the GCSE Music Exam. Uh, the course consists of three main elements. They are performing, composing and appraising. Um, the performance exam is, uh, requires the boys to perform two pieces, a solo and an ensemble performance. Now we expect uh, the boys to be approximately grade five standard uh, and this is so the boys can achieve uh, and access the higher grades because this is imperative that the boys have a high level of performing to do well on this course. Uh, you don't actually have to have taken the grade five uh, exam but to be in, of that standard uh, and I will liaise with relevant instrumental teachers to find out uh, the boys a standard should they wish to do GCC music. The second element is composing. Uh, over two years the boys uh, have to compose two separate original comp compositions uh, one of them is a complete free choice and the second one that they do in year 11 is uh, composed from a brief which is given to the boys uh, at the start of year 11. The final element of the exam is a written history stroke theory paper uh, which is one hour 45 minutes and over the two years the boys do research and uh, analyse uh, many different set works and this is what they are examined in uh, in the final exam, which is taken at the same time as ever the GCSEs at the end of year 11. Uh, they are examined on the content of the pieces, their musical knowledge of these pieces that they learn over the two years, as I said. Um, so that's the course. The performing is 30%, the composition is 30%, and the exam at the end is 40%. Uh, possible challenges. Well, uh, the challenge is that students need to be of a grade five standard to do well and to access the higher level of the grades uh, awarded in, in, in the exam. And I think also, you know, you really, boys who take this uh, GCC are really love music. It's their passion. They will be at home practicing. They will be involved in the numerous musical ensembles we have here at Weatherby. They will be uh, the type of boys who will be performing in concerts in uh, in uh, recital evenings and, and uh, solo evenings. Uh, and the results uh, uh, do show this, that the boys who, who do play the, the instruments really well and uh, love their music go on to achieve the high grades. Now, uh, as I said, the boys who do take music are the type of boys who just enjoy music. Uh, they enjoy the, the challenges and the rigour of analysing uh, Bach and Beethoven, for example. They, they enjoy learning about other genres of music on their musical journey from year 10 to 11. They may have felt in years 7, 8 and 9 that they, they, their musical uh, interest has been awakened by the many different styles uh, they learn about and they want to take this further. And this may go hand in hand with their achievement in the musical graded exams. Uh, and this is the type of a boy uh, that uh, does do well. For example, we have a uh, two boys who are in year 11 at the moment who are grade 7 and grade 8 pianists. And for one of their compositions, both of their compositions, I beg your pardon, they have done uh, pieces for themselves to play on piano. Uh, they, are w they are well versed in the idiomatic writing for piano and they're able to replicate pieces that they have studied in their own uh, personal compositions. Um, and some boys, you know, as you know, music is split into three groups anyway. There are performers in the musical field, there are composers in the musical field, and there are historians in the musical field. So boys do naturally find that they have affinity with one of those different areas, uh, and they do find they have to work on other areas. A uh, grade eight performer is not necessarily the best uh, musicologist, for example, and they learn that through their musical journey. So I hope this has been a, a helpful advice for you uh, to, to listen to. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.